Okay, so I'm loving this bow tie action you got here. I'm loving it so much. So you are your political speaker, comedic speaker. How is that for you? It's just a way of life for me. I love to, basically, pol politicians are so flawed, and I love exploiting their flaws. I would feel bad doing it for anyone else, but they can't, when the moment they filed their papers of intent to run, they just entered my wonderful world of making jokes about them, I guess. There you go. Well, I have to ask, since we just had the election, what's your thoughts on Trump being president now? I, I guess it's going to be great for my show. Because it's comedy. But <laughs> it's not really great for my friends. Like, for example, I decided to have a little fun on Monday, and I decided to be a Trump supporter in school. And uh -oh. <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious. Their, my friend's responses, they are like, Adam, I'm not your friend anymore. I'm like, guys, it's a joke. And you realize that most of these kids, they're not doing political opinions based on theirs. A lot of times, I'm not saying every time, it's what their parents are saying. And let's say my mom says I like tofu, I'm most likely gonna like tofu. Not always, but. Exactly, well, you'll, you'll grow up more and, and these kids will learn a little bit more about what politics are. But thank you for giving them a head start. That's such thank a good you. night. And thank you for so much for talking with thank us. Thank you. Thank you.